Welcome. Today we're going to do some fun little bugs. We're going to do a little quick follow along drawing. So you're going to need a little piece of paper and a sharpie or a marker or even a pencil. It doesn't matter. Something that you can draw along with me. So we're going to do a fun ladybug and a colorful fun butterfly. Here we go. We're going to do ladybug first. So, like I said, you need a little piece of paper and a marker. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make a nice big curve. Just like that. Then you're going to join it. You're going to add another curve right in there. Then we're going to put in a couple circles for the eyes, curly antenna, little dimples, big happy smile. How about some feet? Insects have six feet. Did you guys know that? So here we go, six feet. All right, and then since it's a ladybug, we have to put some spots. So I'm going to put one here, gonna put one here, how about I do one here, here, and I like one here, and a smaller one there. And there we go, we have our ladybug. And then you can color it however you want. So notice that with this one, I did a couple black spots, but I did colorful spots around the other ways. And you can do that. Okay, so there's the ladybug. Now, for the butterfly. Again, you need a piece of paper and a marker. We will go with a big head, skinny little body. Almost looks like a golf ball on a tee or a key, even looks like a key maybe. So then we want to have an eye here and an eye here. Again, a nice big smile, a little dimple, a little dimple there. We're gonna do our wing. So when you do a wing on a butterfly, you wanna make sure the wings are close to the same on the other side. We call that symmetry. Some of you guys might have heard that word before. Basically, it means that if you fold it in half, they'll match together. So, and then a nice big one down here. And a nice big lower wing down here. Oh, we have to have an antenna. Comes up, nice little curl. Let's put a ball on the end of it. And a nice little antenna here, and a ball on the end of that one. And then in the wings, let's add just some designs. So how about down here? I'm going to add some triangles. Now when you add them, make sure that they, if you fold it, it would be the same. And then how about just an oval? There. And up here, I like to do, let's do a heart here. And here. And what do you think? Shall we just do a circle up here? Let's do another oval. And there we go. So that's just drawing along with it. And then you can color it again 
You can do whatever you want with the colors. You can use markers, you can use watercolor, crayons, colored pencil, um, whatever you have at home to give it some color and some nice, pretty, fun ideas. So here we go. Here are our two little bugs, fun, creative bugs that we did for this week's project. Again, I'd love to see them. Have your parents take a picture and email them back to me. Thank you so much.